Hi folks, Tom from Van Dabby Dozy. So spring is finally in full swing here in Scotland. So I've come to my local woodland to see what wild edibles have awoken from their winter slumber. And as I go along, I'll tell you a wee bit about their historical uses and cultural significance here in Scotland. And if I find what I'm looking for, I'm planning to make a tasty pesto for my lunch. Stay tuned. So this is wild garlic, or creve in Gaelic. The whole plant is edible, but I find that the young leaves have got the most garlic flavour, and the flowers have got a very, very subtle flavour. In the past it was used as a potting herb and added to many recipes. Medicinally, it was believed to purify the blood, and it was also used as a poultice for wounds. This is going to be my main ingredient for my pesto. There's a number of trees in the UK which the new soft leaves are edible and one of the first ones to appear after winter is this and this is the hawthorn tree, the Gaelic skiach. It was believed to be the gateway to the fairy underworld. The flowers and leaves were used to make decoctions for sore throats and the berries can be used to make jams, wines and syrups and the thorns can also be used to make fishing hooks. Stinging nettles are also just appearing on the forest floor and although I won't be adding this to my pesto, I thought it's worth a mention as these are one of the most nutritious wild edibles found in the UK. These young leaves were commonly gathered in the highlands to make soups, stews and added to porridge. This is sheep sorrel or shalavac in Gaelic. It's a very tasty and common wild edible with a sharp lemony taste. It was eaten as a fresh herb, but also used medicinally as a cooling herb for fevers. There you go, within a very short space of time and within a vicinity of 100 meters or so, I've collected three different types of fresh wild edibles. Now let's see if I can make a tasty pesto sauce with it. So obviously you could take this home and use a food processor or something and make everything much quicker but I've decided to go a bit more basic but I've brought some stuff with me. I've got a mortar and pestle, I have some sea salt and a wee bottle of olive oil but you could use any sort of veggie oil. I also have some nuts with me. It would be awesome if there was some wild nuts I could harvest but there's nothing out this time of year. So uh, I've just brought some pine nuts with me. So first thing, I'm going to wash my wild edibles. It's always a good idea to do that. Uh, and good thing about this willow basket is that it also acts like a sieve. I'm going to mash up my pine nuts. I'll use this jar later to put the pesto in. of linen cloth to make a wee workstation. You grab some of your wild edibles and chop it up as fine as you can. Some wild garlic. The hawthorn leaves are already quite small so I'm just tearing them up and putting them straight into the into the bowl. Some of my sorrel leaves. These are going to add some lemony zest. So now it's all chopped up and in a bowl. I'm going to add some olive oil. Give it a good lather in olive oil. And then some sea salt I have in this wee pouch. And then mush it all up. Now if you're making this at home then obviously you can make bigger batches 
much uh, more finer. You could add Parmesan cheese or something if you like. But there's a very quick and easy spring wild edible pesto. Let's uh, try it on an oat cake. Bon appétit. That's very nice actually. You get the strong garlicky taste from the wild garlic. Then you get the lemony zest from the sorrel. And then the hawthorn leaves sort of mellows everything out. That's very nice. Mm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it inspired you to go out and see what wild edibles are in your area. Just make sure you definitely know what you're picking. Make sure you respect the environment and try not to take too much from every given area. And make sure that you wash everything well. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to support the channel, then you can become a Patreon on my Patreon page. I'll put a link up here and also in the video description. Or you can make a one-off donation via the PayPal link in the description below. You can follow me on social media if you want. Please subscribe, like this video, share with your friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Cheers, folks.